We've enhanced the PO automation with powerful add-on features that offer greater flexibility and control. Users can apply custom percentage increases, filter out in-progress POs, and generate precise, targeted orders, making restocking smarter and more efficient than ever. Welcome to the 29th part of the Master Business Accounting Project in MS Access Programming. Please click on the I button above or the link in the description to bookmark the complete playlist. Let's see the importance of on-time purchase order in a running business. Timely POs ensure that inventory levels are replenished before they run out, preventing disruptions in production or sales. Having the right stock available when needed keeps customers happy and builds trust in your brand. Late POs can lead to urgent orders at higher costs. On-time POs help control procurement expenses. When materials or products arrive on schedule, it keeps the entire operational flow, from manufacturing to delivery, running efficiently. Consistent and timely ordering fosters better communication and reliability with suppliers. Timely purchase activity feeds accurate data into inventory planning systems, helping improve future demand forecasting. Here are our goals to achieve after this video. Instantly identifies items that have dropped below their minimum threshold levels. Option to include or exclude items with already generated or ongoing purchase orders. Automatically adds the minimum stock level quantity to the order for quick processing. Fetches the latest purchase rate, supplier name, and PO date for each low stock item. Allows users to adjust item quantities and prices before finalizing the purchase order. Enables users to apply a percentage-based increase to selected low stock items. Seamlessly generates purchase orders for selected items directly from the auto process. Multiple background validations ensure accurate, reliable, and consistent data handling. Please subscribe to Skillheader, like, share, and we are waiting for your valuable comments. Let's get started. This video is about how to implement the second powerful add-on after the general journal and ledger. The links are given in the description to download this add-on by subscription. Before proceeding with how to implement the PO automation add-on, let's see how to mark the items where a PO is already generated or in process. While adding the item for the purchase order, it should be marked. This is the PO edit form. You have to do the same with the new PO form. Open in Design View and make changes to the Add button. The PO status field must be added in the table as well, so open the Items table in Design View and add the field. We did not add the delete function to the PO items, so add it first. Copy the delete button from the products form, adjust it, and rename it. I am copying the previous deletion code to save time because it does not require any reference.
the new PO status field was not added to the form's control source properties. The mark has been added to the item. This is the last video's auto PO process, and we have made it more powerful as an add-on. Before proceeding, add a field for the record selection in the Auto PO table. The add on file will contain three tables, three append queries, two normal queries, and a form. Most of the objects are already available in your database, but we will overwrite them. Skip the tables if you have already added two fields in the items and auto PO tables. Copy all the rest of the objects and paste them into your database. All objects are copied. Reset the database from the compact and repair database option. Now you can understand the importance of the marked PO items because sometimes we only need the items that have no outstanding purchase order. All low stock items have been added to the process. Let's exclude the PO item this time. As you can see, the marked item has been filtered. Let's observe the item's addition in percentage. 30% quantity has been added to all items. The addition has been made only to the selected item or items. The user can always reset the form with default low stock items. Let's test the multiple background validations to ensure accuracy, reliability, and consistency of data handling. As you can see, some items are from the opening stock with no last price. In case of an item selected without quantity or price, the process will stop with a message to complete. Both records with quantity and price filled are selected. That's great to continue to generate PO. After inventory receiving, both items are no more in the low stock category. The reset process is helpful to generate separate purchase orders for suppliers. Hopefully this powerful add-on is a milestone in this project. See you in the next thrilling video.